Hey, this is Chuck from Metalani, and I'm talking to Woody Weatherman from Corrosion Conformity. Woody, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, Chuck, man. It's good to talk to you this morning. <laughs> it's good to talk to you, man. Uh, so the new album, No Cross, No Crown, comes out on January 12th. Uh, this is the first record that you've done with Pepper since 2005 in the arms of God, and the first record that has the four of you, you know, Reed, Pepper, Mike, um, from American Buying Dealer in 2000. Right. Uh, this new album, you know, the new record, I think, fits in really well with those other albums. Uh, you can hardly tell that you guys have really been apart for very long. Uh, was it difficult for you guys to get back into that musical kinship and pull together the new album? You know, it, it really wasn't, man, because we've, we've all, you know, been jamming together on and off for, for so many years. It was just, uh, and, and plus bringing John Custer, you know, the, the doing the production work back in on it. You know, he's worked with us since the Blind record. So it was... Uh, it was like butter, man. You know, you <laughs> jump right in, and, and of course, after after like a year and a half, almost two years of of being back out on the road with Keenan, you know, we we were already pretty well gelled up, and it was just time to make a record, you know. Awesome, man. So one of the aspects that I love about COC is the harmonies and lead trades that you and Pepper Jam. Right. Um, for example, like uh, Wolf Named Crow has just a pant load of these awesome harmonies, and then the the great lead break. Um, right. The, the flow between the guitars just sounds effortless. Uh, do you and Pepper have to really work at like nailing down that timing and synchronicity, or is it just a natural evolution of you of you two playing together? Well, you know, it, it, it's a little bit of all of it, and, and, and a little bit of uh, John Custer phone in the mix, you know, and, and we just, uh, most of that stuff, we just create in the studio. We kind of build stuff, and then, you know, when it's done, we sort of uh, learn it later, you know what I mean? We kind of build as we go. It's sort of like Legos or something, you know. We just have a good time. And, I mean, it, it just, it's sort of a, it harkens back to some of, uh, you know, some of the classic uh, bands from the 70s and 80s that we just really love. We just, uh, you know, jump right in there and, and try to, and just have a good time with it, you know. Yeah. So, is it really a, a dynamic thing when you guys are in the studio where, um, you know, somebody comes up with a riff and then the rest of the band builds on it? Or is there someone that um, says, you know, hey, I've got this whole song structure ready to go, mm -hmm. and you guys kind of like say, oh, yeah, and then tweak it? Right. The, it, it's, the, the, the latter is, is, is pretty rare. Like a, the majority of stuff that we, that we do are like uh, kind of somebody shows up with a riff and then somebody else has another riff and then, you know, we start throwing riffs together. It's... Occasionally, there's something that pops up where, where somebody has almost a whole song, or even you know pretty much a complete song. But it's it's kind of rare, you know. Most of our stuff is just built as you know while we're all together, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, so I know that um, some of my favorite cuts off of No Cross No Crown are the Luddite. You know, it's got this big balls out power, and then there's that kind of old school metal feel for Forgive Me. Um, what are your favorite cuts on the new album, and why? Well, you know, you, you mentioned the Luddite, and, and that's actually, the, that's going to be the funnest one to play live, like during rehearsals and stuff, because it's just a nonstop, it's like a locomotive, you know, with trucks and trucks, and, and there's not even a breathing spot in it, really, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so that, you know, you, I'm glad you mentioned that one, because that's pretty much, uh, I, I know it's going to be one of my favorite ones to play live, for sure. <laughs> awesome, man. Um, so... You guys have been killing it for years, and you seem to get stronger with age. I know that uh, when I saw you guys in uh, 2015 with Clutch, there was there was like a this air of excitement to see the four of you guys back together. Um, what do you attribute to the lasting strength of the COC? Uh, you know, I well, I mean, a little bit of it, it, it's probably part luck, part just having fantastic fans. You know, I mean, you, you can't do it without people coming to see you, but it's there's hard work that goes into it too, you know. I mean, we don't we don't take it lightly. We don't throw bullshit out there, you know. We, I think, uh, you know, so it's kind of a combination of all that stuff, man. You know, you, you can't uh, discount the fans at all, though. I mean, those those are the people that, that show up and and get excited about things. So, you know, that's <laughs> <laughs> other than the hard work. That's that's the most important part. Awesome. Uh, so you guys are going to uh, be heading out on the road end of December. Uh, yep. with, with Black Label Society, hitting a bunch of cities in uh, in the U.S. Uh, so I'm, I'm wondering, will you start off each day with just like a, a shit ton of, of Death Wish coffee and lifting weights with Zach? <laughs> Apparently not. 
probably so, man. He's big <laughs> on his coffee, man. Yeah. You know, Zach, he's a, he's a guitar wizard, but apparently he's a coffee wizard, too, so... I'm, I'm looking for because you know I hey in, in the mornings I enjoy my coffee you know I, I kind of switch over when it you know afternoon it's time to switch uh, switch your beverages over but, right uh, but I'll I'll definitely join him if if we're both up early enough in the morning to drink some coffee together I'll I'll be joining in on that awesome well I'm, I'm hoping there's going to be some pictures of you guys like maybe doing some deadlifts and you know. <laughs> And, well, okay. and drinking yeah, coffee. Gonna, gonna have the dumbbells in one arm and and the guitars in the other arm, and, and we we don't have we don't, you know maybe, maybe use our feet for the coffee mug. I <laughs> awesome. So uh, when when you guys were uh, a, a three piece with Mike right. uh, doing the vocals, and you did the um, you know the the self titled Corrosion of Conformity album that kind of went back to your punk and you know kind of thrash roots. Yeah, a little bit of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you think you do you guys have any plans to kind of retool any of that stuff with Pepper and do maybe some of that live? Yeah, you know, probably not. Just simply because that we we have so much material. You know, I mean, it's right. already hard. You know, it's already super difficult to decide on a set list. So we, you know, I doubt that we will. Uh, although we have in the past, we we jumped back to some animosity era material. You know, uh -huh. uh, as a four piece, we've done that several. You know several times but I, you know as it stands right now god we got we got too much material already <laughs> <laughs> it's already a battle trying to decide on the set list you know so right. i doubt that we will reach back to any of that stuff anytime soon anyway awesome so uh beyond the um the u.s tour looks like i just saw that you guys are going to be playing uh some festivals in europe like Hellfest. um any big festivals you guys are really looking forward to playing well, they've only announced a couple. I, I think they've announced the uh, Copenhagen, which is in uh, Copenhagen, obviously, and Hellfest, which is somewhere in, in France. The of France. Yeah. yeah, I don't know where. <laughs> but there, there are a couple more. Uh, there, there, there's a, a, a big one in the UK that they haven't announced yet that I, I'm really looking forward to. We played the venue when it was called. It, it was it was called something else, but I'm looking forward to that. And, uh, you know, man, just all of it. Traveling, getting to play the music, it's all good to me, man. Awesome. So, uh, Woody, I was just uh, curious, when when you were um, first starting out, like, you know, with Corrosion Conformity, did you have any idea that you guys would still be, you know, kicking it and, and, and making great music like you are today? No, not at all, man. We, you know, whenever we kicked it off, we were kids, you know, yeah. in high school and just having a blast playing playing punk rock as loud and as fast as we could go and, and no idea that uh really 35 years later you know um <laughs> yeah this, literally this this year i guess is 30 but you know no idea you know and, and it never even like later on you know you don't really think about stuff like that you're just enjoying what you're doing and, and so forth and so on i'm just thankful to to still be here really you know? <laughs> <laughs> being in the band and being alive both <laughs> Well, that's awesome, man. I'm I'm am a super big fan, and I'm really glad you guys are still uh, kicking out there and making great music. I appreciate um, it, man. Hey, I got uh, I just have one more question for you, and it's uh, uh, what do you like? To, what's your favorite breakfast food? Breakfast food. Yeah. Oh man, I'm a southern boy, so it's got to be biscuits, you know. <laughs> I mean, a, a good old country ham biscuit. How can you beat that? You know, <laughs> and a cup of Death Wish coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, awesome, man. Well, yeah, cool. man. All right, well, so Woody, uh, you know, best of luck on the tour. I'm hoping that I get to catch you guys when you come into Detroit because I'm up in Michigan. Cool, uh, cool. Yeah. yeah, do it, man. All right. So, uh, yeah, best of luck with the, the new album, and thanks so much for talking with us. Thanks much, Chuck. Appreciate it. All right, brother. See you.